Hi, I'm John Sifferman from physicalliving.com and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to stretch out your forearm muscles, your grip muscles. So if you are uh, doing a really heavy weight training session or some body weight training, you know anything that's really grip intensive, uh, when you're training with kettlebells or club bells, whatever, and your grip's just fried, it's on fire, you can barely even squeeze, and you just you don't know what to do to, to make it better, uh, this video is for you. I'm going to teach you how to stretch out the musculature um, using some uh, technique we have from yoga and also a new twist on a uh, pose in yoga uh, to get really deep into these tissues to release tension, uh, to restore uh, blood flow and mobility and improve your range of motion and just uh, improve the health of your wrists, your forearms and your elbows and your shoulders. Um, so hopefully this is helpful for you. We're going to talk about three stages, a beginner, intermediate and advanced stage. The beginner stage uh, involves rolling your hand down. So uh, if your hands are in front of you, you should roll your hands down so that your fingers touch the ground first and then your palm comes down eventually until your, your hand is flat. And you want to roll it so that your fingers are pointing back towards you, um, towards your knees if you're, if you're kneeling like I am. This can also be done on a chair or a countertop if you're tall enough. Um, you just want to have a flat surface where you can roll the hand down lock the elbow and pack the shoulder down on your rib cage to stabilize it so that you're pressing into the ground with an equal distribution on the whole underside of your hand so not so not totally on the palm not totally back on the fingers but equally distributed on the entire underside of your hand um, and then locking the elbow fully locking the elbow and externally rotating it um, to get that full extension and rotation of the elbow then you want to keep the shoulder packed down on your rib cage. You don't want your shoulder shrugging up like this at all in any of these exercises. The more you pack it down, the greater the benefit will be, the greater the tension, the deeper you'll be able to get into the, uh, the tension you're trying to eliminate. So first stage is just rolling your hands down flat right in front of you. And you can alternate, you can do them at the same time, whatever floats your boat. You just want to roll them down until you get that full contact, lock the elbows, pack the shoulders down, and that's, that's level one. Um, you'll get a lot of benefit just out of doing that, and you'll, you'll notice a big difference in uh, how your grip feels afterwards. Second level is going to be working your way towards seal pose from yoga. And it's basically, once you've gotten both hands planted down in front of you, you're just going to start walking your knees back further and further. What this is going to do is it's going to put more weight on your hands and it's going to uh, cause you to get a lot deeper into this range of motion and uh, feel it a lot more. Um, so again, just review the counterpoints. Keep the hands um, uh, equally balanced, equally distributed so your body weight is equally distributed on the entire underside of your hands so that you're not too far back on your fingers, not too far forward on your palms, but equally distributed. You want to keep your shoulders packed down. You want to keep your elbows locked and uh, externally rotated. You want to walk your knees all the way back until you're in this almost upward dog position. It's just a little different from upward dog. And you just hold this until as long as you feel is necessary. Um, you know, uh, most of the time, a uh, stretch like this, you'll, you want to hold it at least 20, 30 seconds. Um, you might need a minute or longer until you get a release, but you'll know. You'll know when. Um, it's not doing you any or much good anymore. So once you've gotten comfortable with seal pose and if you want to get a little bit deeper, actually a lot deeper into this range of motion and really uh, kind of like ring out the grip musculature, you can try this next variation. It's kind of an advanced one. Um, and I, you know, advanced. It's, not, it's not hard, but you're going to go very deep into a range of motion here. And so if you have uh, problems, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, elbow tendonitis, just proceed with caution. Please don't do anything dumb. Ask your doctor when in doubt. Um, but you're going to know, you're going to know exactly what I mean when I say this is a deep range of motion. Everybody feels it right away, especially after a workout that has been grip intensive. So what you want to do is you want to roll your hand down like before. And let's say we're rolling our, our right hand down first. Get that flat contact. And all throughout this time, keep the even pressure on the ground, equal distribution on the, of the hand, lock the elbow, rotate it around, pack the shoulder down, maintain that this whole time. That's, those are the three points, the hand, the elbow, and the shoulder. You want to keep going through that little inventory, make sure that you're um, uh, going through each one and accounting for each one. So if your right hand is planted down, it's rotated around, so it's, your fingers are pointing towards your 
your knee, what we're going to do is we're going to walk our knees counterclockwise around us. Keeping the hand planted in place, walk the knees around counterclockwise until you feel a twisting stretch sensation. And trust me, you will feel it. Uh, this won't be one of those esoteric, am I doing it right type of things. You're going to know if you're doing this. Um, and then when you get to a point where it's a little uncomfortable, but not very uncomfortable, certainly should not be painful. If it's painful, you're going too far, um, or you're doing too much, or you're doing something you just shouldn't be doing. It should not be painful. And you just hold it here, and you go through those points. You press your hand into the ground, you lock the elbow, you pack the shoulder down. And once that becomes a little easier, you can walk a little bit further if you want. You can go a little deeper into the stretch. You don't have to. Uh, but you just, again, you hold it as long as you feel is necessary as long as you think it's still benefiting you. And to come out of it, you just walk back, take some weight off of the hand, bend the elbow. You can just shake out your arm a little bit. And you'll want to shake it out because you want to get some blood back into those tissues. This is probably the most beneficial time is after the stretch has been done because you get this sudden rush and flush of uh, blood flow and nutrition and it's kind of soaking all the tissues in there. So you would do the same thing on the other arm. It would just be the opposite direction. Um, but using the same arm, uh, just for demonstration purposes, the other side of this is that you, instead of rotating your arm externally to the outside of you, as we've been doing all along, this, this next um, version, we're going to rotate the arm inside, so towards your other arm, towards your center line. So rotate it as far as you can go, plant it down, and again, equal distribution of your body weight on the underside of the hand, lock the elbow, uh, pack the shoulder down, and this time, if you're using your right hand, you're going to walk your knees clockwise um, so that your body is turning clockwise and just getting an opposite rotational stretch on all of these tissues. And just like before, you know, go right to your edge, no further. It should be, dis it should be uncomfortable, not very uncomfortable, should not be painful. Um, and you just keep working through those uh, three counterpoints, the inventory. Your hand, your elbow, your shoulder, packed down, locked. Uh, pressing down into the ground. You, go, you can walk around a little bit further and you know just go right to your edge and no further. So to come out of it just walk your knees back, take a little bit of weight off the arm, bend the elbow and shake your arm out again. So um, that is a new twist on the seal pose and it is a phenomenal drill for releasing tension and uh, stretching out the forearm muscles all around the forearms, the, the elbows even up to the shoulders, I'm sure you can feel uh, feel what it does. Um, I highly recommend you use this after any grip intensive training um, as a part of your cool down because it's going to really improve the health, the fitness, and the strength and um, boost your recovery. Um, all these tissues right here. Um, so hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, be sure to do both sides, not just uh, one arm because you'll end up like that guy with the super big uh, right arm and the really tiny squeaky meansy meansy left arm. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please hit me up. Uh, get in contact with me. I'd be happy to help. Love doing this, these videos for you. I wish I had more time to do more. Um, so hopefully I will see you around the internet. Take care.